Hello everyone and welcome back here to Satisfactory. As you can see in front of us, our little refinery that we set up in the previous episode is kicking out our plastics. It's kicking it out quite right as well, look at that, wow. I have had the game running for a little while but even so that's crazy. Right, so that is full. So presumably, that's going to keep going until that gets completely full here. We need to find some way of using up this heavy oil residue. Otherwise, this is going to eventually stop. So, I'm expecting a similar story over here. Let's go check it out. Yep. That's full. 48.6. Wow. Yeah, so the maximum this is going to hold is 50 by the looks of it then means that that's come to a stop. But how many... Oh, you know what? That's not bad, that's not bad. Um, what happens? We go... Flush it. Now that is... technically a waste of heavy oil residue. And I accept that. That should now, yeah, that you know, I've temporarily emptied that pipe and emptied that, which means that that's going to start kicking out our rubber again. Anyway, today's episode, we are going to build a proper factory for these guys. We may not get it fully done, and I don't think this factory is going to have a roof on it. I feel like an oil refinery should be out in the open. We should just enjoy what we've got going on here. What a beautiful like that is so. What other thing we're gonna do is we are quite a long way from our base over there. So what you'll notice here, I have temporarily built a craft bench. And we're going to build little facilities workshop over here. One other thing we are going to build is an explorer. We are going to plunk him right about there. Put some fuel in it. This is going to mean we can get around much quicker, much easier. Take it for a little spin. Oh yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Right. Stop that now. Because what I don't want to do is end up using up all our fuel in there. Of course, if we use up all the fuel... Come on. 
should take those. Yeah, if we use up all the fuel, we don't have any coal over here at the moment. And then we can't actually use it to get back to the other factories. Would be a bit of a waste. So is that our... Yeah, that's our other oil over there. Right, let's just take these and kill them off. The other ones are hovering over there still. Look at that. These guys mean business. They've really set up camp. Try and stop us getting that last oil. Come on then. You wanna play? Play will play. Now we can lay claim to our third oil deposit over here. Awesome. Of course, I haven't actually worked out what we're going to do with it yet. But you know what? Just over seven minutes in. So. I'm going to harvest this first. Cool. And we're going to go do a bit of time lapse in, I think. Get ourselves at least a decent factory floor in here. Probably redistribute and redirect that over here. Get ourselves a proper factory going. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Well guys, um, yeah, no time lapse there. Unfortunately, had a bit of an issue with the footage and it got a bit scrambled. So, rather than do it all again, record all again, we have skipped forward a little bit where we've got our platform the base of our refinery. Now I have moved things around. We have got the actual physical refineries here. And we are going to set these up. Now that's set up for plastic. Brilliant. So this one needs setting up for rubber. Maybe thinking, hmm, okay for rubber or residual rubber? We had it set to rubber last time, so that's what we're going to set it up for again. You can see, we've got a whole bunch of rubber on board on our person, and we have a whole load of plastic on the Explorer. next thing of course is going to be build some storage for all this show over here before I set this up so we've got all this floored in there's the odd bit of bush I need to sort out put proper flooring in under this 
reorientated that to face over here. Then we've got pipe. Comes nicely over there. I like how that's not 100% spot on. As you can see, there's a slight dip there. But it's close enough. Walking around, we're not going to notice. So that comes in. See a lot of this zigzagging of pipes in real oil refineries and so on. And that feeds in to our second one here. So, what we need to do is put a whole bunch of storage. Go on that line there. Come across there. Come across there. Like that. We're going to get our stackable pipeline. Put that on top there. And we are going to take this. What may seem excessive initially. We are going to run that all the way out to there. And likewise on this one. Grab our backwall pipeline. Backwall pipeline. They're all set up already. Awesome. And the next thing is going to be our fluid buffers. They need to go in. Actually, nope. Forget that. Don't want those yet. We want one is pipeline support. That needs to be in line with that. Now that looks. On that line. Yep, it is. We'll grab our pipe. Make sure that looks okay going into there. I think it does. So, we'll just put these up whilst we're at it. Like that, like that, like that, like that. And then, next thing we need is pipeline junction cross. Bit. Yeah, I reckon there will do nicely. Pipeline. That and that look. That. Oh. Right, it will do. And I'm going to go with it will do because I'm not so precious that everything has to be perfect. One other thing that I haven't done is. Reconnected power over there. That's what we'll do. Make it nice and neat. We'll run that like that. that. Now flow into there. Start filling that up. Organization, fluid buffer. What we want. And here. Okay, like that. Like that. 
Not the missing modular frames at the moment. There. And because they're producing the same product. Go to there. That's going to slowly trickle up, fill up with heavy oil residue. Industrial storage. We need to do okay, that works for me. There. there like that and they can fill up nicely obviously they are gonna not be full before these are the next project is gonna actually be to work out a use there this heavy oil residue and there is a use you guys will probably let me know down in the comments before I even get back to the next video. Where we're going to find a use for it. Right now, we're going to take our little explorer for a spin. We are going to finish the next task. some reason has disappeared from the top first frame. I think actually it's because we're in the Explorer. We do know we need to make two stops. Oop, a bit of lag there. Yes, we need to make two stops. One to get Fact of crash. Yes, one to get motors. We'll get it out before we're dead. And the other stop is going to be to get our cables. bumpy along here. We don't want to follow the cable all the way down. Because that drops down off the cliff where we don't want to go. Look, it's a little old tractor. I kind of feel bad, but we don't really have a use for that anymore. 
Bye bye little tractor, you did us proud. I'll take a run along here. Possibly put down a beacon actually here. Just to mark where factory two is. Got the green machinery inside from Christmas theme. Let me know, by the way, guys, if you want me to remove these or not, or whether they should stand as a testament to our struggles. All the way down here. Not that floor. We are going to find a use for that floor, incidentally. Here we are. So we're going to need 100 of those. Got that. That's 100 of them. Got our 200 of those. Let's say we have got the plastic on board the Explorer. All the way back up here. Barrel nut in hand. Just because it gets tiresome holding that. See, you know, zapper. Basher. All the time. Notice I have that took the R out of waterfall finally and made it a nice blue still want to build something out there at some point just because I think it is a beautiful spot on the game back on board our explorer Race down the hill. Back up here. And need a whole bunch more cable than what we actually have. Make room for that. We are going to. We don't need all those right now. Don't need all those right now. Keep hold of the motors. Yeah. Chuck it all in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred. Five nine. There. Around here. Load up that with coal. Uh, 
Right, um, what can we sacrifice? You know what? load that up as much as we can. That on there. That on there. That on there. Yeah. What we should really do is start exploring the MAM again and try and unlock more inventory slots. That'd be a worthwhile use of our time. Come along here. We are going to drop those in, drop those in, drop those in, drop those in. Ignore the Christmas play on the launch pod button. Boom. Milestone reached. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. New project parts enable progress to the next phase. There we go, guys. We have unlocked the truck. What else have we unlocked? It's new. In there. Production. A manufacturer. Cool. Bring in there. And there. And the rock. Wow, look at that. 48 slot inventory has a built-in craft bench. Can be automated. Pick up and deliver it. resources at truck stations. Nicknamed the unit by Fix-It Pioneers because of its massive frame. Wow. Uh, maybe I was silly to jump in the Explorer when I did. But look at that. So it needs computers, it needs heavy modular frames, it needs motors. So we can't, well we haven't built computers yet. Let's have a look in here. What computers require. So these require circuit boards, cables, plastic and screws. All good stuff. All stuff I'm sure we will be making at some point. Really need to hear. Start using these for something. Not sure what we're going to use them for, but... Would be handy to find a use for them. Also, we should probably convert that into fuel. But I can do that between episodes. So the next phase is going to be setting up, start making fuel eventually, so we can get off of this coal power reliance. This is not bad, but if we can use better fuel, we may as well. We also want to have a look. So alternative fluid transport. Wow, look at that. Industrial fluid buffer packager. This is what we're going to want. Liquid biofuel look. That is the goal. Right there, liquid biofuel. Packaged liquid biofuel. Either converted into electricity or as fuel for vehicles. That's what we need. But I also want a gas mask. We can go exploring. Dear 
six, look. There it is, right there. We have the technology to build computers. We are so close now. We are going to go for that as our next milestone. Pod will return soon. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. As I say, I was planning to have a bit of a time lapse in there, but I don't think you've suffered without it, to be honest. As you see, all it was was coming over here, getting a bunch more concrete, going back, laying that floor, and doing a bit of pipe work. So, realistically, other than putting a whole bunch of extra fluid storage it wasn't a whole lot you'd have seen in a time lapse to be fair I'll drive the explorer just yet we we'll sit and I was going to say watch the sunset but I don't know which way the sun is so we'll look at that moon instead so yes, as I say, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.